Hey everybody, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how we can export our tempo information out of Logic into a MIDI file, which we can then import into another digital audio workstation. I have to say thank you to Obedia client Andrew John Thompson for uh, giving me the idea to make this tutorial. So thanks very much, Andrew. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I have a session here in Logic, and in the tempo lane, you can see there's a number of tempo changes as I move along in my timeline. And I want to be able to create uh, this same tempo click information in another digital audio workstation, such as Digital Performer or something like that. Um, so there's really the only way that I can initially do this is to create a click and to create an audio version of my click track. So I've got an audio version of my click track, but that's not going to allow me to take in the tempo information. I want the actual tempo information to go into the other application that I'm working in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a MIDI file and that MIDI file is actually going to host all of this tempo information as well as my markers actually and some other information about this session. So that's cool because I'll be able to bring that into another application and have that data. So the way that I'm going to do this is firstly I'm going to create a new track. So I'll click on the new track adding button right here. And now under new tracks I'm going to create a new software instrument. And I'm going to hit create. This is going to create that software instrument track. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one single MIDI instance on this track. So I'll go ahead and switch to the pencil tool here. And I'm going to click and just create a MIDI instance. So now I have a MIDI event and I need to have at least one note in this MIDI event that I've created. doesn't really matter what the note is. I'm just going to create a note. So I'll just go ahead and do C3 right here with my pencil in the piano roll editor in Logic. So now I've created this MIDI event. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this MIDI event over the course of my entire project. So I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit right here. And now I'm going to go back to my pointer tool and I'm going to move the pointer down near the bottom of this MIDI event and it's going to become the expansion tool. I'm going to expand this MIDI event until the end of my project. So now again, it's okay that I only have one MIDI note in this event because that's really all that I'm uh, going to need because this is how Logic is going to know that this is an active MIDI event. Now that I've done that, I need to go ahead and export this MIDI event. So I'm going to select that event. Make sure it's selected just by clicking with your mouse on it. And I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go to Export and I'm going to go to Selection as MIDI File. This is going to open up the Save MIDI File as dialog box. So now I can go ahead and just save this and I'll just call this MIDI Click. I've got a name for it there already. I'll hit Save. I'm going to show you how it is that we can actually bring this data into uh, my Logic session. And the way that I do that is not by importing. You might think that I click File and Import and I import that MIDI file. That's not actually what I'm going to do. What I am going to do is click on File. I'm going to go to Open. I'll go ahead and leave this current session open. And I'm going to browse to where that MIDI file is. So I'll find midi-click.mid. Now all I need to do is open this up. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up that MIDI file and it's going to ask me a question. It's going to ask if I want to create a new environment or copy the current for the MIDI file. I'll just go ahead and click New. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up this MIDI file in this Logic session. Now you're going to notice that if I expand my tempo lane right here under Global Tracks, here in my tempo lane, here's all of those tempo changes that I had previously programmed. So all of that tempo information, as well as my markers, as you can see, have been imported into this Logic session. So now I can delete all of these other tracks if I want, because these are all just general MIDI tracks. And what's happened, as you can see, is that MIDI file has been imported to the Grand Piano track right here. I don't need to keep this MIDI file because all it was doing was acting as a box for the tempo data from my previous session. Now you can also use this same method in other DAWs 
just open up this MIDI file in other audio workstations, and that information will be imported into the session. You can delete any of the extra MIDI tracks, things like that, but you'll find that your tempo lane will bring in all of your tempo information, and then your click will follow along with that tempo. So this is a really cool way to be able to export that information and still be able to keep the actual click data that you might need for being able to do syncing with MIDI instruments and various things like that. I hope that this is useful to you guys. As always, get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. Get us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy music making to you. Come